Oh, big reading. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Wow. See, oh, oh my goodness, mine's gone up to five. Oh. oh. Neville. Hi, explorers, and welcome back to the channel, the Forsaken Explorer NT here, and I'm joined here today with it's too tucky for dinner. So and we are gonna check out this. Uh, mental asylum building here that is about to get teared down so the activity should be hiving with activity basically and we're going to check it all out and see what the spirits think about this bit building getting pulled down and uh, we'll, we'll get to it and have a look but while we're here we'll show you the new kit that we've got from America so we have a mal meter that we'll be using we have a SB7 spirit box and we also have a K2 EMF meter so I can't hold all three in a camera. So each of us will hold a device and we'll walk through the building. And at some point we will turn on the SB7 spirit box and see if we have any activity. Let's get to the video. Cheers, explorers. All right, so explorers, so here in the first room, we're gonna have a walk around with the mal meter and uh, Trudes is there, she has the K2 device and she's gonna have a walk around. So we're basically just gonna do a slow pan of each room and walk around. This building is very decayed and it is getting pulled down so we, it should be hiving with activity and we'll ask the spirits what they think about that. We'll use the K2 device to, and colours for them to ask responses as well. So we have a small spike on the mal meter, nothing too much at this stage. We haven't explored this building before. We have been in lots of them, but not this one. Look at this old decayed piano here. Wow, oh, isn't that cool? So not only will we do it and explore, but we'll look at the details and check out the paranormal activity. So we've had no spikes or hikes at the moment. There is still some construction workers here just gathering their tools as they've been pulling down the building for the day. Yeah, we did intend to wait till they left to begin, but um Fading lights, so we've just kind of been on. Look at this in here. So we've got some old couches in here, some old lazy boy chairs from people chilling out in here. We're getting some very low readings. I'm actually getting a tickle on my face. I don't know if that's a cobweb or not. You know, I've got a scratchy nose. I think oh. I walked through a cobweb though. I might be a cobweb. So 0 0.4 milligal reading in this room, 0 0.3. We have a temperature, it's actually in Fahrenheit, which I don't really understand because it's American, but it's 60.9. Um, which is some, I might have to do some googling of what that actually is because we don't use that. We, we're flat line to zero here. And yeah, we've got to look out for holes in the floor as we're exploring. So, long hallway here. There's another one just enter. Lots of holes in the floor. So, this Wow. So there's been a lot of vandalisms in here. Maybe the damage might set off the meter. And they've Something put off, like you know, a lot of rubbish in here. I mean, it is daytime, the activity is less to be hiking, but we will go to a room where we feel, sent some activity and ask them some yes or no answers and ask them to use the colors of the K2 to answer the questions. Usually yellow or red is what I usually go to. We've got a slight reading there that dropped back down, but it's yeah. it's on a 0 0.7, 0 0.1 milligrams, a temperature fluctuation as well. So the bottom is temperature, top is the milligram readings of energy fluctu fluctuation. And it's just zero at the moment, but we keep dropping it up and down in temperature. What you got to look for, if that quite often, uh, sometimes you get a 666 reading on there. Oh really? Look, mm, look at this crane here. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it'll be mm. one of the construction guys I'm using. Mm. Another room in here. <coughs> look at all the wires in here. This is still quite new-ish wires and, and intact as well. As far as the copper thieves hasn't been around. So there's holes dotted through the floor everywhere. This end is gone of the building. It's slowly being teared down. <clears throat> this one's being deconstructed. Yeah, they're gonna 
You've got timbers and stuff. Yes, all the native timber will get saved, as Truce was just saying. So there's a fireplace in this room. Would have been like a common room or a dining room type room in here, socializing. More holes in the floor. And now, so we have to look out for lots of stuff. Another hole there. Wow. You can see outside here, there's lots of holes in the floor. Hmm, it did. I saw a red flicker on the K2. I wasn't looking at it, but out of the corner of my eye, otherwise. So we've got lots of holes in the floor in here. Yeah, um, so just stick to the path that I'm walking on. Do, 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 do. Wow, all the rotten sections have been cut out here. So this has been really vandalised, this part, by people. Oh, and we had a reading there. I'll just step back right here. 0 0.2 and a temperature fluctuation there. 0 0.1 now. And back to zero again. It was just in this doorway here when I said about the hole in the floor. Do you not like the hole in the floor? Probably turn that light off in the meantime because it's fetching. Wow, the decay in this room is something else. It's a combination of decay and vandalism. Look at the plant growing inside, down the chimney there. Very decayed building, this one. Bit darker in this room, so put the light on. Wow, look at the paint peel in here. That's pretty cool. So hopefully we can find a room where we get a hive of activity, which could be a room like this because it's darker. Yep, we're getting a reading in here. We'll go right into the corner. We are getting, oh, here we're getting a reading, 0 0.2 temperature fluctuation, we get to 606. Can you like, can you make it, the temperature change up or down? Uh, went up to 619, 617, and we went to 0 0.1, I don't know, hopefully you can read that on the oh, that's screen. Good. Now we've gone to 662.2 Fahrenheit. Um, we're back at zero milligals, but the oh, temperature is changing. Oh, we're going to flicker on the EMF. Oh, we're going to flicker on the EMF. Okay, so thought we'd have it. Right, so answer with a orange for yes or a red for no on the EMF. We'd like to ask you a few questions. This building is about to get teared down. What do you think about that? Are you happy this building get teared down, or not happy? If you can answer with a yellow for no or a red for yes on the K2 device. Also, are you male or female? Could you go to a green for male or a yellow for female? Okay, so the activities moved on from here. They might not be wanting to communicate, but we'll use color-coded questions to see if they answer. It's always the way to go. You can get a yes or no answer. But we'll also pull out at some point the SB7 spirit box. We'll have a walk around and just see if we can find a room that has more activity. The energy feels different in here. Not much going on at the moment. We'll just keep the camera rolling because the second you turn the camera off, something will happen. Is this your room in here? Can you give us a reading on this device? Touch the antenna, please. Touch the antenna. 
on the end of this device. Oh, there we go, 0 0.3, right here. 0 0.1, 0, 0. Tem temperature fluctuation big time. It went right up to 0 0.3, which isn't a very high reading, but it's, oh look, we've gone to 611, 610 Fahrenheit, 609, the temperature's changing, constantly changing here. Temperature Could it be because the truck driving past? Mm, it should only be in this room. Um, 608, oh we've gone to 0.1, and um, we went to 0.3 a minute ago. Hmm. There's nothing here at the moment, we'll carry on away from the noise. Mm. Oh, hang on, did we do a, go in this room? We'll have a oh, look in I here. Did. I'll have a look in here. Temperature's still changing. Oh, we had a little flicker there, I'm sure of it. Here, dark and creepy room in here. Pantry or something like that. Is there anyone in here? Well, temp another temper for temperature fluctuation. So we get lots of temperature fluctuations. Oh, and a slight point one milligal reading. Our temperature's gone up, going up. It's gone to six oh six again. Sixteen. Yeah, so that's a reasonable change back to zero 619 613 hmm interesting 606 605 603 that's just the temperature changing as we're walking through the building <laughs> obviously cold temperature colder temperatures would represent that there could be a spirit in the room a uh, generally um, i like to say a good spirit will make it go cold and a bad spirit could make it go hot you can get a burning sensation from a bad spirit. So we're changing again. We've got 0 0.1 milligauss now, which is still a very low reading. The minimum reading on the K2 is a 1.5 milligauss. So basically that's quite a low reading. This one's more accurate and reads lower and much higher than a K2. Basically a very flash K2 that also transmits the temperature fluctuations. And this room has got a lot of timber in here being recycled. All native timber, all getting reused. The building is not savable. It will cost more to repair the building than what it would to replace it because it needs new everything. And what have we got? Anything happening over there? Point one. Well, it jumped to 615 from 600. The temperature was well, 61, you could call it point, yeah, from 60.0 to 615. One point, that's, that's not a huge temperature fluctuation, but still in the same room, just panning the camera around. Yeah, that's right. There is no wind in the room too. Zero point one. room the nurse's room so this end is gone I bet that's probably upset a few spirits what have we got in this small room with nice wallpaper hello was this your room could you light up our k2 meter for us 
Could you touch the end of this device here and change the color for us, please? Could you please change it to a green or a yellow to let us know that you are here? What do you think about this being pulled down this building? It's completely gone. This, does this anger you or upset you that the building will be pulled down? This could be your last opportunity to speak out and let us know what you think before it's gone. Ooh, temperature's going to 62.7 it went up to. Oh wow. In Fahrenheit, which I have no idea what that is. <laughs> um, it's not very warm in here, so I wouldn't imagine it's too hot. There's no windows or anything. No. Oh, there's a window behind us, but there's wood over it. So, so far we've had no real big one readings. Big, one big flicker of the K2 in the end room. I did have one on this as well, and that was it. So we're back to the room that we started at, which would have been, a lot of people would have socialized in this room. I would have expected this room here to be a fairly active room. So we'll have a bit of another walk around and yeah, I'm see. On the lap as well. So we'll both do the lap to see if we can get a device to pick up the reading or anything. Spiderweb on my arm. <laughs> Tickling me, makes me, you know, it's not a spirit, it's quite a bit. Oh, we had a reading, not higher, just here. It's a very, very low reading, 60, uh, sorry, 0 0.10, nothing. Very, very low reading. Not even, the Katie wouldn't even pick that up. It was literally just as I looked at the he's getting closer sign, though. Mm. It was just a tad bit convenient. So mm. I went like that, and that's when it went off. We went to 6.06. Can, you know it's creepy when it lights up to 666. Six, six. So what do we have in here? This room's slowly getting deconstructed, all the hardboard's been removed from the uh, native timber walls. You can see they've got the old black paper they used to use on the exterior of the building to try and help with the weather tightness. They didn't really do much, they don't really use that anymore. And so this is the end of the building is what's getting put, oh! 0 0.3 milligal reading, 0 0.2 milligal reading, 0 0.1, which is very low. These the floor's gone here. We have to walk across this plank, walk the plank here like a pirate. So we'll walk the plank like a pirate. The bathroom. Oh, and I got a fluctuation when you said that. We've gone we're all quite high. One, one 3.3 milligals reading in this room. Wow, that is very high. That would be higher than what that one goes to. Two, look at this, 2.1 milligal, 1.6 milligal. This, right when you see someone died in here. Yeah, someone died in one of these bathtubs. I, so, don't, I don't know which one though. I was just kind of darned across to see if I re got any readings. We're still quite, 1.2 milligal reading. What's that? 1.3 milligal, 1.4 milligal, 1.5 milligal. It's getting higher and higher. 1.1 milligals, 0.9 milligals. Hmm. It, but it went right up to 3.3. .3. What does that one go to? It goes to 2.5, oh, 10 and 20 plus. So that, that would have been combination between yellow and orange on that one, which is a fairly high reading. It didn't go off, but I wasn't looking at it the whole time either. My, my one, this one did though, but it, it just the equivalent of what your one would be, if, if it was to go off, would be an orange on that one, which is quite a high reading. Just went back to zero. The that temperature's is still up. 61.5 Fahrenheit, and it fluctuated again, 0 0.4. I'll just wave it past your camera to make sure that your camera is not making it go off. No. Nope. Nah. And the K2 is not interfering. And my camera is, if I go near my camera, it could be setting it off. No, it did go to two, but that was, it doesn't seem to be. So my camera is not setting it off. But just before I got to the camera, it went up very high. My camera doesn't set the EMF off, look. Hmm. So it's not our, our other equipment setting this off. And there's no, as you can see, there's no wires in here. Hold up. <laughs> That is weird. I'm just sitting at oh, 1.3. Oh, I had a flicker. Yeah, I'm sitting at 1.3. Just constantly, 0 0.8. There is definitely some readings in this room. It's, it's The highest readings are in this room. It's like... 
So. There's no power in this building, obviously, since they're tearing it down. Oh, oh, big flicker, big flicker. It went all the way to orange there, guys. That's a high reading. I saw it flicker then, too. Oh, oh my goodness. Mine's gone up to five milligauss, and it's not this. So you can off no. So that's there, crazy. there is literally someone standing, well, 4.5 really? milligauss. Oh, my, that's, that's, that's two milligauss. Our temperature's changing, 616, 2.2. So we're having, there's something here with us. So what we're going to do is this is a good time to pull out the SB7 spirit box, turn it on, and that we're, oh my goodness, that just went up to 11 when I put that down away from the camera. 11. That is high. So this is a good time. I'm going to turn the SB7 spirit box on now. Hello, is there someone here with us? I've got a flicker up here. Oh, no one. What I'll do is I'll hang this off my camera here so you can hear it. I'm getting readings up here. Oh, another flicker. And it's now it's you can... It's still going. It's still going. Wow, major flickers. All the way to orange. Could you talk into this box here hanging off my camera, please? Whoa, that was just up to a 2.8, uh, off camera, again off camera. So I'll keep this in front of the camera at all times. I'm getting readings up here. Oh, I just heard a voice on that SP7 spirit box, very faint. It's on a high speak rate. And the two, construction two workers, look at this. they do not have any walkie talkies or anything. Oh, big reading, look. Wow, 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 wow. They're wow. seriously going up. Could you light it? To a solid orange if you are a lady. Or could you light wow. it to a red if you were a man? Wow, it's going up to dark orange. Wow. Okay, so orange to red. Yeah, orange to red. Wow, okay. This is incredible. If you are... Oh! If, if you, that's quite high too. I'd like to ask you a question. If you are unhappy that this building is getting pulled down. Could you light the K2 device to a orange or red, please? So we've got slid into an orange. If you are um, happy it's getting pulled down, could you light it to an even green? It's green. Not one. Not, oh. not, not an even green, but it's, it's still green. So. Oh, yellow. Are you, are you a patient here or a nurse? Do you light that to an orange for yes, please? For a nurse. Orange. So that was a we're look, talking to a nurse. Could you talk into this device here, the radio static device, and we'll hear you? So we're getting high readings. We haven't heard a. I haven't. I have heard a bit of a voice come over the SP7 spirit box, but nothing too significant. Can you say hello into this device down here, into this radio? Could you use the radio frequencies to communicate? Well, 1.4, 1.0. Zero point seven, which is quite low. Zero point five, which won't pick up on your zero point two. I can't see yours because it's not in the shade. Oh, there we go. Hmm. 1.4 milligauss. Oh, your one's going off. Yeah, yeah. Your one's going off. Mine's on one. 623 for the temperature. Wow. Not getting any words, though, eh? No. Someone's trying to communicate. Well, we'll have a bit of a walk around with the SP7 spirit box going and see if we pick up any words in any other rooms. I think it might be the way to go, so we'll walk the box going, back around, have a quick walk around, and see if we pick up any words. Is there anyone here wanting to communicate? Talk into this radio hanging off my camera. I might just have to steady it, it's turning all over the place.
Oh. Oh, that was a word. Oh, yes, hello. Wow. Oh my gosh. Hello. I can hear you. Are you a man or a lady? So this device that I'm using now is the same device used by Ghost Adventures by Zach Baggins and his crew, an SB7 Spirit Box. It's an authentic proper device from a paranormal investigation shop that specializes in equipment. So is this device here. So they're not apps, these are correct devices. So, is there anyone here that would like to talk? Speak into the radio, please. We'll go back to that room where we had a bit of a temporal fluctuation on the uh, mail meter. Is there anyone in here that wants to talk? Can you talk into the radio, please? Whoa! Could you say that again, please? What is your name? I feel you. My ears are, my ears are coming up on my arms. I heard your voice. Could you touch the antenna here, please? To let us know you were here. Yet we're getting a reading. What do you feel about the building being pulled down? Oh. I'm having tugging on my bag right now. Are you tugging on my bag? Or are you behind me over here? Could you tell me your name, please? Is there anyone out here in here that would like to talk to us, please? in the bathroom. Anyone here that would like to talk? What about in the pantry in here? Was this the pantry? I just had a full sentence. A full like it was like it was like like, like, like full-on voice and it's a proper device like i say the same as what ghost adventures use I to investigate this, i just back in that room man there's some actual activity in there in the bathroom yeah in the bathroom we'll go back to the bathroom and see if they would want to talk to us now Let's sit that the first i'll have to analyze it in the video being that, you know, it's an actual proper radio, paranormal. Could you talk into this radio here, please? Whoa, I heard that. Hi. 
Hello. Could you repeat what you said, please? What do you f feel about the video being put? Oh, sorry, the building being pulled down. The disc pulling it down over the next week. It's going to be gone. How do you feel about that? I talk when it talks. Are you a male or female? You're getting reading on here too. Are you the person that died in the bath? I heard that. It was that they answered. Did you take your own life or did something suspicious happen? Say hi. Yeah, he, he, so uh, another one. And when I asked about the bath, were you the were you a man that was in the bathtub? Was this the bathtub here? Is this here for you? Is this your bathtub? Is there activity in the bath? Oh, I heard another voice. Was it this bath? Bit of, a, bit of a energy on the bath there. Nothing too high, very low. What about this bath here? The temperature's kind of always changing though. Neville, did you say Neville? Sound like it said Neville. I thought it said never. Never. That was a full voice. Yeah, that was that was the same man's voice as the first time. Wow. I did ask to say his name, and it said it sounded like it might have said either never or Neville. Yeah, one of the two. Well, now when we analyse it on the video. Wow. Well, I'm going to take a small break because my camera's getting a bit low and um, that's probably all the stuff is going to happen. We'll turn this off, this SP7 spirit box now. Oh, there's a voice. Could you talk again into this device in my hand? There's another voice. Oh, flicker. Another one. That's how fast it scans radio stations, so it's not anybody talking on the radio, it's scanning um, five stations per second or something like that. A hundred milliseconds, that's what it says, sit on. SP7 spirit box. Do you want us to leave? Would you like to tell us any messages before this building gets pulled down? I heard something. Mm. All right, it's still going off. It's very active in here. It's very active in here. But I'm just going to pause the video for a little while because, for some reason, my probably the activity, my battery is dying fast. I'll start recording. Okay, we're just for. When I stopped recording, a piece of glass fell out of the window, and we asked on the SP7 spirit box if they did it. And it clearly said yes. That, that's on Tube's video. I wasn't videoing at the time. I also had a major fluctuation on this before. I... Could you please confirm that it was you that dropped the glass? He said yes again. Just then, yes. What is your name, sir? I'm assuming you're a man. Were you a doctor or a patient here? Motherfucker. Wow. Can you say it more clearly? Did you break the glass to let us know that you were there? Or because you want us to leave? Or are you helping pull the building down? What do you think about the building being pulled down?
Wow. It was literally like one of these bits of glass. And this window has been like this for some time. Oh, another flipper. And that glass here fell down. It's been working for a long time. It, it's quite still, there's not really any wind. You don't hear any wind on the camera. Yeah, And we've got energy here on the glass. 0.3 on the window, we have energy. Are you here at the window? Are you outside the window or in the window? It went up, it went up when I went outside the window. Oh, 0.5, 0.9. 0.1, are you outside the window looking in? It's higher outside the window. It's colder out there. Oh, it's not the temperature, it's actually the milligals reading, oh, wow. the e energy reading of it. Of, it is too. So the energy is higher outside. We're getting the occasional flicker too. Oh, oh, all the way to orange. Wow, there's definitely something here. Drop the glass down. I've got reading on my device, so quite low, but it's it's, it's constant. And constant I'm energy. And I'm orange, the occasional reading here. Wow. Could you talk again? Could you tell us who you are? Could you say man or lady into this radio? Feel free to drain the battery from my phone so that you have the energy. Oh, clear voice again. He said yes. It's weird that my camera is dropping oh, wow. fast. Wow. It's dropping so fast. Some major action at the end. And we've got approved gear. Is there any last words you'd like to say before we end the video? Let's walk off. I don't know. We'll have to review the video. Anything else you'd like to say? This building's getting teared down. This is the last opportunity to talk. We're flickering. Yeah. This is gonna be, we're going to be the last people in here you can talk to before this building's gone. It's going to get teared down next week. If you've got anything you need to say, don't hold back. Say it now. It, this is your last chance. As they say, speak now or forever hold your peace. Any messages you want to pass on? Any last words? Right, we're going to end the communication with you now. Ending communication. Goodbye. Well, explorers, while we're checking out this awesome asylum before it gets pulled down, I have to be one of the last people to check out this tower here, way behind me, behind the trees. Love climbing, so I'm going to go and check it out and climb it. Uh, well, I've already climbed it, but uh, you won't know that. Wear that in the video, and you'll see that too. Cheers. Radio explorers, I'm going to check out this tower here at a abandoned a mental asylum that I've been wanting to climb. It's due to get pulled down, so let's go up there and have a look.
was hoping to get a bit of a view actually. Not really. Up here. No ladders up here to get any higher. There we are. Famous banded asylum here that's due to get pulled down very shortly. Very cool. Alright. Now back down we go. The down part, that's always the fun part, isn't it? Descending. Reasonably long way up too. Inside this tower. Look at that. Pipes and stuff in here. Not for the faint-hearted. Our explorers and ghost seekers. Um, I hope you enjoyed this paranormal video. Some of you guys have been really been streaming out for a paranormal video for a wee while now and uh, I've been waiting for some gear to come in from uh, America that I've ordered in that I really really did want um, to wait till I hit the gear. Some people are not fan of the phone apps. Just so you know I've held the phone app and the proper device from a proper ghost detection place that I've bought um, side by side and they work the same so some of the phone app ones are not full of crap but anyway if you do like this video please remember to like and subscribe to the channel push the bell notification button and comment down below and we will catch you on the next explore that's all for today ladies and gentlemen forsaken explorer over and out
Finish it, not gonna know.